everyone to the Data Science on Azure 101 series. My name is Julia Ferroli. I'm a Cloud Solution Architect for Microsoft in the Netherlands, and I'll be your host for this series. Through these videos, we will address a series of introductory concepts to data science. First, technology agnostic, then how to do this on the Azure platform. Starting with the roles surrounding a data science project, you've probably heard of data scientists, data analysts, data engineers, machine learning engineers, AI engineers, data ninjas, data unicorns, or whatever else is a LinkedIn title these days. What do these roles mean? What are the differences and what is the overlap between them? And how do they come together to create a data science solution? We will first cover this from a technology agnostic perspective. What do we know about data science projects? What should you pay attention to? What makes them successful? What makes them fail? What are some common pitfalls? And what are some tips and tricks to avoid that based on our experience? What does it take to have a data science solution running in the cloud? Starting with the high level picture of the architecture data science needs to be a part of. So we're not talking about data science project as a black box that some scientists play around in and experiment. We're talking about integrating it into the existing business. And then we'll move to the real fun part, technology. We're going to talk about Azure Machine Learning, Microsoft's platform for data scientists, where all the roles we mentioned can come together to create those successful data science projects. It also offers a solution to the various stages of the data science process that you're soon going to hear about. Now, there's a lot of documentation out there about Azure Machine Learning, Azure in general, or data science in general. There's blog posts, there's YouTube videos, there's video series and courses and entire degrees you can make about this topic. This series is here to answer the why questions. Why do you need to know what data sets or data stores are or how to choose the right compute for the task at hand? Why is data science so complicated? Why does everyone oversimplify data science? Why is it a better solution than putting together other components from Azure? Why is it a better solution than just making your own code in Python and publishing that? What is the point of all of this? Why do we abstract away so many of the components behind Azure ML? Why do we make it so complicated? Whichever side of this discussion you're on, we're here to answer some of these questions. Why do data science on Azure? Let's find out.